this is my review of the the Tower Rex uh, wooden insert um, for wingspan. Uh, Tower Rex is a is a seller out of the Ukraine. They um, they, they they sell on on Etsy. They've been really responsive when I've when I've emailed them and uh, or messaged them, and they'll, they'll get back. And I guess allowing for the crazy time difference between America and the Ukraine, I thought it was I thought they did a really good job. But anyway, you can see this insert. It's um looks beautiful on the table. Uh, it, it aesthetically it uh, it matches uh, wingspan rather rather well, and as everyone knows, wingspan's a gorgeous game. So it's um uh, it's good that the the insert. Uh, I guess matches it. Uh, you, you can see like the there's um, a lot of a lot of beautiful engravings on the dice tower here. Um, you got perches that, that that stick out. I mean it's it's cute. I mean it 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 works really well. Um, like I said, it looks good sitting on the table with, uh, with the rest uh, rest of the components. Dice tower is 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 huge too. I mean it, it's um. You see here, set beside the the original, the the cardboard. It's it's massive, which is nice too, because I've always had I had issues fumbling with those with those big dice, um, putting in that little dice tower. Here's the um, the bird card tray, equally uh, well adorned. looks 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 beautiful. There's a ruby throated hummingbird. I know that now because I'm a a flipping bird expert, playing wingspan like I do, or like we have. Here's laden. Uh, the, here's the, the the card holder laden as a as a European swallow might be uh, laden it, it filled up. It's you can see the, the the cards exceed the top. So if so if that announced uh, um, expansion comes out, you're going to be um, SOL as far as the space. Not all my stuff is sleeved, so sleeved it maxes out its size. Uh, max that out the size. Here's the fatal flaw. Like, what do you do with the Automa cards and the um, bonus cards? There's no place for them in the insert. And I'll show you here. We're gonna we're gonna put um, everything back in the box as as is recommended. Uh, the the recommended orientation. These components go in well. Everything fits nice and snug. There's not much room. Um, you'll you'll notice that the, the the token trays, the egg trays, um, the action token trays, the, uh, the the egg trays, and the food trays. They're they're pretty tall, um, considering how tall that uh, the the bird uh, card uh, tray is. But they don't need to be that tall. There's a lot of empty space on the bottom of those trays. And so here we put the um, the dice tower in. You see everything fits well. Well, where do the bonus cards and the Atoma cards go? There's a there, there's no space for them. You can't slot. They, they won't they won't fit inside the dice tower, um, it, 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 which would have been a nice solution. With the player mats in, I mean you are. I mean that's it. You've 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 got to the top of the box. They recommend putting in uh, Tower Rex recommends putting in the um, the instructions sideways and I mean, which is fine and all but that's still it, it doesn't solve the issue that not all the components can fit in there you see one socket so it fits it's nice and snug right up to the to the end but when you look on the other side the perches the little perches which are are, are, are cute as all get out well functionally they push the um, the documentation up above the the the, uh, the, the top of the box you see there that that that's higher than what the box goes and and I I, I guarantee you the the bird tray the, the the dice tower is sitting in the the um the horizontal piece flush I mean it's as far down as you can go you can see the the roof line exceeds the top of the uh, of the box as well so that's unfortunate because it doesn't need to be that big it'd be um, you'd probably want to have to you, you to make this fit proper you'll you probably need to trim off that that um the 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 roof line there well here's my solution i just leave the di the um the vertical piece of the dice tower uh out and put everything that's that you can't fit otherwise in that in the space to the left and then you can put the the documentation right side up as god intended and there's no issue with um with keeping all your um your components in the box except the vertical part of the dice tray 
of this could be the dice tower. There it is. And that's uh, that's the only way I could um, let everything fit while still sleeved. I mean, you can unsleeve everything and it works. And I have another um, uh, insert from Tower Rex. This is the Mice and Mystics one, and everything. It, similarly, the aesthetics are all well well executed. It's a beautiful set. Works really well thematically with Mice and Mystics, but it, it holds everything, all the components, um, including um, my laminated uh, character character cards. So in the end, I think it's a, I think it's a, it's a beautiful set. Um, a lot of thought obviously went into it, and it looks uh, aesthetically, it looks gor it looks gorgeous. But it has a fatal flaw of not being able to hold all of the components in the base game, and that's uh, that's saying nothing of the the announced expansion that's going to undoubtedly include, uh, uh, int introduce and add a whole bunch of other birds. And there's no place for them. You saw that the. Um, uh, the, the the bird tray is maxed out if you sleeve all of the cards, um, which is what Tower Rex advertises it's it's capable of of doing is holding uh, sleeved cards and it does just barely. You add any more cards to that and that's it you're overflowing. Um, so I I don't think I would recommend this this insert, um, especially if you if you plan on getting the expansion it needs to be redesigned to inc uh, to include the at least the base components at least at a bare minimum um, there should be space in there to allow for for the future expansion I, you know without knowing what the future expansion is going to be if it didn't if it introduced another 170 cards then no that probably was never going to be possible anyway no matter how well the insert was designed but there is a lot of empty space underneath the token trays that could be utilized or better utilized there's empty space a, a beneath the um, the action uh, uh, markers that, that could be better utilized and if you um, if you stack those action markers I mean they're, they're essentially twice as tall as they need to be if, if you if you stack those you would have enough space down there at the bottom vertically to insert uh, a card tray that could hold the bonus cards and the Atoma cards without uh, any modification um, but as it is as it stands right now I think Tower Rex should probably consider um, redesigning it um, but if if you liked it the way uh, the way I had it here with with, with the base comp with the, with it if you don't mind putting the the dice tray outside the box you've you've got all the room in the world the, the the downside of having such a large dice tray obviously is it takes up so much real estate inside and that's what probably crippled the the design uh, but I don't know if I would I mean it, <laughs> do you want to trade that gorgeous wooden um, dice tower for um, for a smaller one, I don't know. Maybe make it maybe make it more functional. Maybe maybe slightly um, maybe maybe make the uh, the horizontal piece slightly uh, you know shorter. That that might work. I don't know. Well, regardless, it doesn't it doesn't um, store the stuff store the base game components. So I don't know. There you go. Now you uh, now you know. Choose uh, choose wisely.